Okay, we're going to do the last question of the um, algebra paper, um, and it's quite a tricky question. Basically, you have um, a situation where you have a quadratic, where you have a number of unknowns, and you have a line going through that quadratic, and basically they intersect at a point of the vertex. So we've got a point of intersection that is the vertex um, for that quadratic. And then we have to get an expression at the end in terms of A and B. So what we have to do, basically, is we're going to have to change this line equation into an equation in terms of A and B. And we're going to have to turn the quadratic into an equation in terms of A and B, which basically means that we have to get rid of these x's. And we have to make those x's um, be in terms of A and B. So we're going to use this information. The x-coordinate of the vertex is the midpoint between the roots. All right? So the very first step that we go about is basically to get the x in terms of A and B. And what we're going to use is that whole information thing about um, the vertex being at the midpoint. The vertex, the x-coordinate of the, of the vertex is a midpoint between the, um, basically the roots of the quadratic, right here. So this x is found by finding the midpoint. This x1, this x2, it's halfway between those. So we're going to use the quadratic formula because we have no value, so there's nothing else. That we're not going to get a number or anything. We have to use an expression. When you have to use expressions, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically substitute in to the quadratic formula what we know from the quadratic itself. So in the quadratic, a is a, b is negative 2b, and c is c. So we're going to actually throw those things into the quadratic formula for the plus and minus. So we're going to get two roots. We're going, to get, we're going to substitute in B and C and A into this part of the quadratic formula and then into this. And then the whole thing, you don't have to do this as one step, but the whole thing has to be divided by two because we're trying to find the midpoint between those two um, roots from the quadratic. And so when you do this, what happens is the, you're going to get the, the two B squares will cancel themselves away and the, the negative four ACs will basically cancel themselves away. So you're left with basically 2B plus 2B over 4A because we divided it by two. And then that simplifies into B over A. So now we have X in terms of A and B, which is, which is beautiful. This is the hardest part of the question to understand that that's how you're going to have to proceed. Now, once we've got that, we can then go into the, to the linear equation, the y is equal to 2x, and substitute in the b over a. So now we've got that equation in terms of b over a. And then we can go into the quadratic formula and do exactly the same thing. So we're going to make the quadratic formula in terms of a and b. So we're going to substitute in for x the b over a and the b over a, and we end up simplifying the quadratic, and it ends up being this should be over a, by the way. Um, b squared over a minus 2b squared over a um, plus c. So now what we have is we have the linear equation in terms of b over a and the quadratic in terms of b over a. So that's what we've got. We've got these two equations in terms of b over a. So now we've got a point of intersection, which means that we can use simultaneous, the principles of simultaneous equations, and we can basically make the quadratic equation, right, here equal to the linear equation, because points of intersection are the same, and then when we simplify that, we can simplify that in terms of C. So now we've got an expression that represents the line in the quadratic and that point of intersection in terms of uh, C in terms of A and B.